For the next few minutes, we're going to go through the process of creating a sample recipe, uh, saving that recipe, and then we're going to run a sample using that recipe. So this is a common function that you'll have to do with the 811 Plus. Uh, the nice thing about the system, though, is that you create a recipe once, and you can use it multiple times, and it drastically cuts down your sampling time. So this is the home screen. We're going to go to Setup and then we're going to want to create a test recipe right here okay and you can create up to 20 custom recipes on the 8011 plus we've already created three so for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to create a recipe here on number four and this is the menu that you go through when you're setting up a recipe it's very simple so to access each one of these there's a, a corresponding number here so to create the recipe name we'll go into number one and there's an alphanumeric keypad here. So we'll just call this a demo. Okay, and we'll save that. Now also, to get away from using the alphanumeric keypad, there's a USB port on the front of the instrument that, which enables you to plug in a USB keyboard. So if you want to create recipe names that way, you can certainly do that. All right, so we've, we've created the recipe name as demo. It pre-populates the recipe title as demo. And then you've got a subtitle section. This is for if you want to create a batch ID, you can, you can do it that way. The tear volume on the instrument is default set to 1.8 mils. All right, now that's the, the liquid volume between the sample probe and the middle of the sensor. Okay, So for the purposes of this, let's just go ahead and change it to 3 mils. So that's line number 4 current value is 1.8 we're going to change it to 4 save it now we're at 4 the sample volume that we're going to run is 5 mils that's the def default we're going to do 3 runs instead of 1 so we'll change that save it so back up to 3 runs we're not going to dilute it but the dilution factor is built in and run the math for you so if you want to dilute your sample say 2 to 1 you can change it right here we do have an option for background subtraction as well, which we're not going to use for this particular sample. We are going to discard the first run. Okay. Now we want to select which report standard we want to report out to. So go to zero. All of these reporting standards are preloaded in the instrument. So once you select the one that you want, when you run the data, uh, the output will be in whatever uh, cleanliness codes that you select here. So we're going to do ISO 4406, number 4. All right, so we've got everything set up, and we're going to save it. All right, so now we see number 4 is our demo. So now when we go to the home screen, we want to run a sample. We can select a recipe. The current recipe that is on here right now is not the one we just created. So we want to select a recipe. There's our demo, and it pulls up everything that we just entered, okay? Now, we want to start that. It's going to prompt us to insert the sample fluid. Okay, we've got our sample fluid here. that in place, hit next, and we're sampling. As you can tell, the instrument's very quiet. There's a progress bar on the bottom. It tells you that the instrument's pressurizing. And this is our first run of three. It's pulling the tear volume right now. And now it's sampling. First run is complete. We're sampling again for run number two. And this is our final run.
All right, so the unit's depressurizing. We have our classes here for our ISO data. And now every time that you want to run this sample, or every time you want to run this particular recipe, all you need to do is go through that final step where you select the recipe, you literally hit one button, and you're sampling. It's a very, very fast process. So that's it. The 8011 Plus.